Our movie begins with the last day of school. And as the last day of the school year begins, Roosevelt High School students were hanging a banner that reads, Last day of school. And while the school has turned into an anarchy-like state with everyone being exotic, English teacher Andy Campbell arrives to find a student on a scooter taking his parking spot. And the student just walks away as if he didn't do anything. Andy then proceeds to find another spot to park his car. And teacher Ron Strickland, who is a very well-feared teacher in the school, catches two boys taking a prized bat from the school's cage and replacing it with a computer so that they can watch dirty movies. And Strickland shows up and orders them to return the bat, and he tells everyone to get back to class. And in the teacher's lounge, Ollie, Campbell, and Coach Crawford discuss the potential risk of getting fired during the summer. And in the meantime, Coach Crawford states how difficult the students are for coaching and how their losses are not really his fault. And as they talk, a furious teacher who just lost control shows up, and after 22 years of service, he's been fired and he prepares to take some stuff from the lounge as revenge. And Strickland shows up and tells him to put everything back down, because Strickland is very strict about rules. Strickland tries to use the new coffee machine, while complaining that the school's budget goes to stupid stuff. And Campbell makes him a cup of Americano coffee, but Strickland doesn't like it and he just spits it in the trash. And as the scene shifts, we see Campbell addressing his class, informing them that this could be their last English class ever. While he's trying to give some final day advice to his students, he notices that someone has written some disrespectful messages on the board as a prank. And despite being upset by the prank, Campbell manages to stay calm and continue to engage with his class. And suddenly, Holly arrives on the scene and then Campbell leaves the class. She informs Campbell that his chances of getting fired are very low, as two other staff members of the English department have already been let go. And upon hearing this news, both Campbell and Holly are thrilled. And while coaching, Coach Crawford encounters two students mowing the grass. Thinking that they're doing something productive, he approaches them to appreciate their efforts. However, in reality, they're only drawing a very big phallic-shaped object on the lawn. You know what I'm talking about. And Campbell catches a student doing stuff to himself in the bathroom. Because it was the last day, everybody was acting crazy. As Campbell makes his way to class, he is stopped by Strickland who needs help with an AV equipment. He refuses at first, however as Strickland saves him from getting hit by a prank set up by students, Campbell decides to help Strickland in his class. Strickland is playing a video on a VCR, but the picture only plays for a few seconds before turning off. And this causes him to become very angry at the administration for not purchasing a DVD player. And Campbell notices that one of the students, Neil, is playing a prank by using a mobile remote app on his phone and turning off the TV. And Strickland takes Neil's phone and smashes it against the chalkboard in frustration. However, the prank continues when a girl passes her phone to Neil and Neil uses it to turn off the TV again. And Strickland becomes furious and storms out of the room. And when he returns with a fire axe causing the students to flee in terror, Campbell watches in awe as Strickland swings down on Neil's desk and chops it to bits. Strickland and Campbell are called into the principal's office, and Strickland tells Campbell that they need to stick together as teachers. But Tyler threatens to fire both of them if he doesn't get answers. At first, both of them lied to Principal Tyler, and they said they didn't see anything. However, as Tyler continued to threaten firing both of them, Campbell caved in and blamed Strickland, resulting in Strickland getting fired. And as payback, Strickland challenges Campbell to a fist fight later that day after school in the parking lot. And he told him that he was very desperate for a fight and the rule is, the fight doesn't end until one of them is unconscious. The scene cuts to Campbell in his class as a student named Nathaniel asks him about the fight. And he tells him that there's even a tweet out about it. And soon, word spreads around the school that the two teachers will fight each other. And Holly and Crawford suggest that Campbell take a punch and get knocked out. But Campbell doesn't even want to get punched once. Campbell tries to approach the school guard for help, but he makes fun of Campbell's lack of muscles, and he tells him that he's only responsible for school hours. Then the scene cuts to Miss Monet approaching Strickland, and after hearing about the fight, she offers him a knife, and suggests that he cuts Campbell from forehead to chin. But Strickland refuses the knife and tells her that what he's got is enough to deal with Campbell. As Campbell tries to get Neil to retract his statement about the classroom incident, Neil demands a MacBook Pro as compensation. And despite his attempts to change Neil's proposal by appealing to fear, Campbell fails to convince him. And feeling very desperate about solving this issue, Campbell rushes to the nearby computer store to buy a MacBook Pro. And while leaving the store with the newly purchased computer, he runs into his wife Maggie and their daughter Allie. Maggie expresses concern that Campbell has lost his job for not standing up for himself, and he told her that that's not really what happened. And when questioned about the MacBook Pro, 
Campbell lies claiming that it's a surprise gift for Maggie and hands over the new MacBook Pro to her. And Allie reminds him that they have a talent show performance later that day, but she wants to change her rehearsed dance to a Big Sean song to avoid being bullied by another girl. And Campbell agrees to her request and heads back to the computer store to purchase another MacBook Pro for Neil. And to his surprise, even the storekeeper is aware of the planned fight, causing Campbell to feel very embarrassed. The scene then cuts to a high school where students had poured baby oil on the floor to trip the teacher who'd been fired in the beginning of the movie after serving 22 years in the school. After taking the laptop from Campbell, Neil and Campbell go to Tyler's office and they told Tyler that the incident was fabricated and that Neil had lied about what happened to the desk to blame the teacher for his bad grade in an attempt to get back as Strickland. And Tyler tells them that Strickland can keep his job for now, but Campbell's job will be under review. The scene then transitions to the Model UN conference where Holly calls both Campbell and Strickland for mediation. Campbell is called by Holly, who texted him that she was pregnant, but it turns out to be a lie, and Strickland is also called by Holly, who told him that she's been graped, which he believes to be true. Holly then acts as a mediator, and both Campbell and Strickland take their seats in the UN model room, with Campbell representing Israel and Strickland representing Iran. And then, Holly suggested that Strickland switch to a country which is an ally of Israel, such as Spain or France, but he chose to be North Korea. After some back and forth, Strickland threatens to show up at Campbell's house and do something terrible if he doesn't show up to the fight, and he storms out of the room. And as Campbell nervously dials 911 and reports the impending beatdown to the operators, the operators mock Campbell and tell him to stand up as a man and hang up on him, leaving him to feel helpless and alone. And back in his classroom, Campbell begins to spiral into a breakdown after being a victim of a cruel prank by his own students. His feet were bound by a rope and Campbell is dragged out of the room by a horse doped up on meth before being sprayed with paint. To make matters worse, Crawford also falls victim to the prank and is covered in paint alongside Campbell. And at this point, Campbell decides that he's had enough of being this nice guy and he decides to take matters into his own hands. He confides in Holly that he plans to frame Strickland for a crime he didn't commit by planting drugs in his classroom and getting him arrested. That way, there would be no fistfight. With Holly's agreement and Crawford who also believes that this is his best shot at not getting knocked out, Campbell starts to go through with the plan. As Campbell was on a mission to find drugs, he turned to Neil and got his hands on what he believed to be Molly. And on his way to Strickland's class, he ran into Tyler who was standing next to his car, which apparently has been painted by students. Surprised by the situation, Campbell accidentally dropped the drugs and ended up putting a foot on Tyler's car to hide it. And Tyler informed him that his evaluation was now at 2.15, just before Ali's show. And Tyler told him to put his leg down, and as he was about to do so, a sudden voice shifted their attention. And it turned out that Tyler was being ridiculed by students through a voiceover, and furious with the situation, Tyler left and Campbell continued on to Strickland's class. Once there, Campbell planted the drugs inside the bag and waited outside with Holly and Crawford while keeping an eye on the situation using binoculars. And the drug-sniffing dogs failed to detect the drugs as it was just Molly and the cops eventually left. And Holly then pulled out a joint which Campbell took from her and ran into the class so he could lure the cops back. Strickland was already inside the classroom and upon seeing Campbell's plan, he threatens him with an axe. And in a desperate attempt to escape, Campbell lit the joint and opened the door, which brought the cops back along with the security guard, Mehar. To make matters worse, upon their questioning, Strickland insulted the police, which resulted in both him and Campbell being arrested. And after calling his daughter to tell her that he wouldn't make it to the talent show, Campbell found himself in a very tough spot. Because his daughter was very disappointed and she hung up the phone before he could even finish talking, and he's now in jail and he doesn't even know what's gonna happen. And Campbell blames Strickland for their predicament and decides to confront him. He seeks out this large inmate and lies that Strickland called him a bitch and other insults and that he wants to fight him. He told the inmate that if Strickland nodded, it's a signal to start the fight. And Campbell goes back to Strickland to instigate things, but Strickland tells him that their fight is off. He only wanted to fist fight to prove that the school doesn't care about what goes on if students are running around uncontrollably, and that Campbell isn't even man enough to come to the fight. And Campbell tries to clarify that the fight is off, but Strickland nods, bringing the big inmate over, and Strickland realizes that Campbell set them up, so he takes down the guy with a sleep holder and tells Campbell that the fight is now on again. While Strickland is threatening Campbell, a cop arrives and says that they're both free to go because the molly that was found was just aspirin. 
It's now 2 o'clock and Campbell rushes back to school for his evaluation, however he is forced to wait outside meaning that he will be late for Ali's show. And Crawford informs Campbell that he, Holly and Monet have all been fired. And when Campbell finally barges into Tyler's office, he finds him listening to the superintendent's story about his fishing trip in Alaska. And Tyler says that they fired enough teachers for the day and must discuss upcoming changes to the school. Campbell asks Tyler about the cutbacks in the situation, but Tyler says that it's none of his business. And Campbell puts his foot down and tells off Tyler and the superintendent for making him wait outside and trying to hurt the school even more. He says that they suck at their jobs and that he's had enough of their lack of respect. Campbell then leaves Tyler's office. As Allie finishes her pitiful solo performance of the Rent song, Campbell rushes to her school and he heads to the backstage to talk to Maggie and his wife quickly gets the DJ to play the Big Sean song. And then Campbell talks to Allie and apologizes for being late. As the music starts playing, they go out on stage together to play the song and dance. But what Campbell didn't know is that the song Allie was playing was I Don't F With You by Big Sean. And Allie directs the song towards her bully Trisha and Campbell joins in on the performance. And as they continue to dance and perform, another teacher cuts off the music. And despite the interruption, the rest of the kids love Allie's performance and Campbell is proud of her. With his daughter's performance now behind him, Campbell rushes off to school for the fist fight. He arrives at the place of the fight and drives off the scooter that takes his parking spot at the start of the movie, and the entire school gathers outside for the big fight, and everyone looks shocked that he actually showed up. Campbell is cheered on and the chants go wild as he faces Strickland and the fight begins. Strickland easily gets the first punch, knocking Campbell on the ground. However, Campbell gets back on his feet and the crowd goes wild for him again. He punches Strickland and then bites his leg, grabbing anything that he could find to attack him with it, including a stapler. Strickland uses a racket on Campbell's head, but the fight continues and Campbell uses a book and everything else he could find. And then Strickland gets him good and he goes down bleeding from his nose. And barely standing up, Campbell runs into the school and everyone tries to follow them to see what happens and he jumps down from the lockers and attacks Strickland again. And as they were standing on the floor, there was a lot of oil that was poured and both of them struggled to keep their balance. They keep wrestling and Campbell ends up thrown on Tyler's front windshield and then he manages to tackle Strickland to the ground and he gets a fire extinguisher to spray him and then he whacks him over the head with it and he takes him down. And the students and the staff cheer Campbell as he runs outside thinking he's won and that the fight is over. However, Strickland comes back and punches his lights out and Campbell goes down. And then Maggie calls him and Strickland answers the phone and he wakes Campbell up by pouring water on his face and informs him that Maggie is going into labor. He pulls up Campbell and takes him to the hospital and Campbell thanks Strickland for everything he's done before running to his wife. As Campbell heads to Maggie's room, he shares everything that happened throughout the day and he tells her that he decided to stand up for himself but because of that he ended up losing his job. And Maggie tries to comfort him, assuring him that she believes in him even though she was giving birth to a baby. The scene then shifts to some unknown time where Campbell enjoys a barbecue with their friends Holly, Crawford and the others. Ali has become more popular amongst the kids and then to everyone's surprise, Tyler arrives and tells Campbell that the fight has caught the attention of the school board and that they need him and Strickland to return to work. And now, Tyler's job is dependent on getting back the teachers that he fired. And Campbell agrees to return on one condition, everyone else must get their jobs back. And the final scene takes place on the school compound once again, where Campbell has convinced Tyler to rehire Holly, Crawford and Monet, and Strickland has also returned to his job with a newfound respect for Campbell. The two spot a kid bullying another kid, and they immediately send him to detention, and then they head off to teach their respective classes, both happy and content with how things have turned out. And that is how the movie ends. I hope you guys liked our recap. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys on the next recap. Bye.